I'm Rich Barris. I joined GE in October of 2012 as the oil and gas segment leader for the Sears X team based in Houston, Texas. Today I'm in northern Belgium visiting GDF Suez and I'm really excited to find out about how the world's largest utility uses GE distributed power products. Let's go find out. Safety first. Most of our customers are chemical plants. They need, on a reliable way, steam and electricity. The electricity is a byproduct of the CHP because those industrial clients are already linked in a, the national grid. The benefit for our customer is a cheaper steam than conventionally produced with a boiler, thanks to the cogeneration concept with the LM6000. We inject high pressure natural gas. The gas turbine is self-sustaining, driving a generator producing about 42 megawatts. That power will go to the grid. The flue gases will go through the exhaust duct into the boiler. In the boiler, we will produce the high pressure steam. The high pressure steam is then sent over to a steam turbine, which depressurizes it, and it generates around and about 15 megawatts. Then that steam that comes out of the steam turbine is sent to our customer through a pipe rack. What does the customer do with that steam? They need heat to start up the chemical reaction and then you get the product they want. Their speciality is rubber that is used in car tires and not the external part you can see, but in fact at the internal side of the tire there's a small coating and that coating is an airtight coating and it's made by rubber that is produced here in that factory. We mostly think of distributed power products being sold to places where there is no power, but here we are in Belgium near Brussels and Antwerp where there's a reliable grid. The main thing that the end use customer really wanted was the steam. The electricity generated by the LM6000 was just an added benefit that they can use to run their facility and then sell any additional power back onto the grid. But it was all about the steam and that was really surprising to me. Hello, Ignis. Hey, hey, Richard. Good to see you again. Good, how are you? Doing great, thanks. How was this morning? This morning was great. Thanks again for introducing me to the guys over there at uh, GDF Suez. Well, GDF Suez is a very important customer for us. They're a big global customer, but also a very important customer for our region. This morning you saw indeed a, a CHP scheme around an LM6000. What I'd like you to show you this afternoon is a CHP scheme around a Jembacher gas engine. But basically the same principle. Heat is the most important thing. The customer was installing a gas engine for producing electricity and heat, and we're taking care of uh, technical maintenance, energy management at customer sites. So can you tell me a little bit how this installation is a little mm -hmm. different from a regular power gen installation? The main difference is not only produce power, but you try to, to get as much heat as possible out of the engine. Wow, what a day. I began the day at an industrial park in Antwerp, and now I'm in northern Belgium here at a farm that runs 12 months out of the year. All this is made possible by the products that GE Distribute Power makes. The power of what we do. It's not about the electricity and the mechanical energy our products make. It's about what our products make possible. <laughs>